Hi, so today I'm gonna to talk about Wegener's. Wegener's, my aunt has Wegener's disease, and that is, it's a really uncommon disorder that causes inflammation of the blood vessels in your nose, sinuses, throats, lungs, and kidneys. Um, my aunt's going to need a kidney transplant pretty soon. She's had it since I was a kid, and it's really affected her in a lot of ways. Um, and it's caused her to not be able to work anymore just because of the severity of the disease, and she has to spend a lot of time in Mayo Clinic because of it. Uh, since it is really, widely unknown and there aren't a lot of people in the United States that has it. Um, currently there's about five that have been diagnosed with it. So it is a lot of trial and error on her which is really tricky and hard to watch. Um, but that the symptoms of Wagoners is um, there is uh, coughing, shortness of breath, fever, fatigue, joint pain, numbness in limbs, weight loss, blood in urine, skin sores, eye redness, ear inflammation, hearing problems. Um, for some people, this disease only affects their lungs, but for my aunt, it affects her kidneys. Um, she's on dialysis now and has been for the past three years. And in seven years, if she gets it, well, if she gets a kidney now, in seven years, she's gonna need a new kidney because the disease will destroy it again. Um, so it's a vicious cycle and it is really scary. And he, there's no treatment for it right now. And there is really nothing that doctors could really do for her at this moment. Um, Wegener's is also brought on by a um, kind of traumatic event, as doctors call it. For her, she had a nose surgery to correct her deviated septum, and that triggered the disease, and now she has Wegener's. So people could go their whole life without having a traumatic event and not trigger the disease to come into play. So different for everybody but for her it um, really affects her life and even if you do get early diagnosis which she did not um, the year there are really no effective treatments that can help um, it's not contagious obviously and there's no evidence that's been inherited by anybody so that is a good thought um, the condition can lead to inflamed narrow blood vessels and harmful inflammatory tissue masses. So that can also lead to granulomas. So she's had a few of those as well. Um, it most often affects people between the ages of 40 and 65. She got diagnosed when she was 42. So that is also something. And complications can be hearing loss, skin scarring, kidney damage, a loss of height in the bridge of the nose, a blood clot forming in one of the deep veins, usually in your legs. And um, there's a, the way that it was diagnosed in her was a lot of different lab tests. So um, lab tests on her kidneys, and that kind of showed that she had a really, really poor function. And so that's where we're at. Imaging tests, you can get x-rays, CTs, MRIs, that can help, and also biopsy can also diagnose Wegener's as well. So, there is a really, really low chance of recovery from Wegener's as well. It's kind of a um, slow killing disease, as one may call it. Um, at some point, this will be the thing to kill her, which is really sad and really scary, especially since there's very little known, and that causes um, a lot of heartache because there's not a lot of answers and not a lot of things that can be done to fix it and it's just kind of a vicious cycle of doctors and treatments and then not working and then needing other things um so that's been tricky and she also has to take immune suppressing drugs which um can cause infection so she's gotten a lot of pneumonia and a lot of things um she's had sepsis like lots of different stuff and that's just kind of how her life is now um She's not able to travel anymore because she can't take her dialysis machine with her. And uh, it is tricky. And it definitely is a visible disability in my mind because of the things that she's not able to do. And she's, um, by physically looking at her, she's yellow. And that's because of the kidney and, and um, her liver doesn't function as well either. So there's a lot of different things that go into it. But... Um, there's not a good prognosis for Wegener's and there's not really a cure at this moment. So that is it.